in the last episode, we... I think we planted some uh, ocelots in the uh, rainforest biome and <coughs> expanded the rest a bit. So let's see what the uh, agility population looks like now and let's play Tito Ecology. <coughs> I also have a few announcements to make. Well, actually just small announcements really. Uh, I'm not going to be around next week. So... Um, I'll be on a business trip to take some groundwater samples again. Which means there will be no videos, also because ooh, a group of agoutis has died. This uh, bio might in fact uh, not make it very far, because the agouti have been completely wiped out, surprisingly. Yeah, that's uh, what happens when you release the ocelot. Um, and we're getting those achievements again. I'll just grab the coins and ignore the energy we get. Stop it! Ah, oh, come on! Was that all? Thank you. Uh, okay, so we still have some agoutis here. Uh, apparently those can't reproduce anymore because they only, uh, they only have juvenile species. Did that group actually split? No. Okay, so I placed a second group and it kind of died. Okay, how far do these ocelots go? So if I place a group over here, it might stay out of their range. Also, something I really like about the um, jungle bi or the, the rainforest biome is that you actually can quite nicely. Um, uh, there is a time of the year when pretty much every or when when things are in bloom and and when things are uh, fruiting, and in fact, if you look at those times, this was not. How was that not pollinated? Um, I'll have to check that uh, eventually because this was quite clearly in range of those uh, morpho butterflies, or of those, so that should have been pollinated. Do you have any other papaya trees? Look at that, we have a small palm which is kind of growing into the uh, middle here. That's not supposed to happen. Some flame trees which uh, thankfully did fruit. Um, yeah, what was what was that? Right, <coughs> so this will uh, be fruiting in 12 weeks. This would be fruiting now for about 12 weeks. In fact, I can show you that. If I place another papaya over... Where the hell is the papaya? Here. Uh, over here, right next to it, you'll see that it will okay. It will fruit for four weeks, but uh, you can see it is definitely fruiting, and that is great. So, yeah, mushrooms are low in population. That just happens. Although, then again, it's kind of uh, the only thing that's uh, no, it's not. There's also plenty of fern growing here. Well, not plenty, but some of it. Uh, do I still have pineapples? Let's check the map quickly. Map. I want to see... Uh, pineapple. We have one pineapple plant. <laughs> That's not quite what I was expecting. Uh, so let's place some more of those. The thing with pineapple plants is they're really hard to uh, kind of, I would say cultivate, but really hard to actually get to uh, pop uh, to to prosper because they're just very 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 oh there we go uh, eight weeks until stasis i'm gonna put a few of those down here halfway guarded by the ocelot one right over here i also have to place okay oh, i won't place anything else i will however uh do i want to expand no i, I don't, don't want to expand this uh, what I want to do is, I want to unlock some more uh, plants for next time. Namely the Strangler Fig. Which is a tree that's... Uh, <laughs> uh, it's actually kind of the uh, very interesting plant. Um, the Strangler Fig itself would actually kind of strangle... It will. It's a parasite, it will grow up trees and it will just strangle them. It will essentially choke them to death, at least according to the Biodex entry here. Which I can't currently view. Actually, I could just uh, check that. Biodex. Uh, 
stranglefig. There we go. They grow on other trees and uh, yeah, they, they just strangle their, their trunks to death, which is interesting. You can pause the video there if you uh, want to read that. And I'll have to keep an eye on those uh, those papaya. If they don't uh, fruit next year and we didn't eradicate all the insects, then something is indeed wrong and we'll have to fix it. Also, I guess we could place some armadillos, preferably outside of the range of those ocelots. Uh, yeah, let's let's put them here. Armadillos are kind of dinner for everything, so uh, it's hard to keep those alive as well. I will, however, put some other insects over here. Just in case, because armadillos can get quite hungry. should probably move that over there. Let's put some moths in here. Not over there, but here. And some more morphos. No, we'll not do that. We will leave this um, map for now. I'm hoping those agouti here will grow nicely. Can I put some more agoutis down? Or, what well, I should probably put here, frogs. Now frogs, you actually really want to control quick. Because if they get to reproduce, and they actually they patched it down but uh, before the last patch which I there we go it's, it's slowly growing uh, before the last patch they would just uh, grow out of hand they would have like a hundred or so uh, new ones and uh, they don't start as tadpoles here essentially when frogs reproduce in this game they produce small frogs so uh, you end up with another like a hundred things trying to eat insects which of course cannot be supported by the insect population you have, so uh, it'll just be insect genocide. Anyway, we'll uh, check that again. Why does that keep going back to three mo uh, to to non? Oh well, uh, let's check the next forest here. Not at all. Well, uh, maybe they should put the delete biodome button somewhere else because this is really like uh, okay. I'm gonna enter that now. No enter is up here. Uh, so yeah, no videos for the next week. Uh, I will either put them up before the week or I will put them up afterwards because I really don't know if I'll have internet there and I don't believe I will. Uh, also, I've put up a B video last um, Monday, I believe, so essentially two days ago. Um, that will be the last B video for this year, most likely, or for a longer time. Because of two reasons. First off, there is not that much going on with the bees right now. They're just uh, getting ready to, to hibernate. Thank you for that. And uh, secondly, my cell phone died yesterday. For no apparent reason, it just did. Look at that grassland. It's, it's pretty uh, grassy already. I like seeing that. I'd, I would almost say it's ready for uh, more inhabitants. But first, I want to expand. I want to buy Zone 3 because we can really afford it. Thanks to the uh, rain of coins we've, we're getting. So let's lay down some foundations here. We need some ants. Some earthworms. Maybe, maybe over here. I would also be tempted to just uh, let that grow on its own. However, uh, let's get uh, pollinators in. What the hell are the pollinators? Probably under animals. Um, pollinators over here. And some bees over there. And there should be one more pollinator species here. Do I need to unlock them? Oh no, it's actually only two. Well, fine then. We'll go with that. And I will put in the... Let's put another colony of bees in there. On this side. And maybe some more moths over here. Okay. So that was uh, successful. Now let's unlock uh, the western sand cherry. And put some over here. 
And that's pretty much it for this uh, biome. I think next year we can start putting in uh, some, some rabbits and some smaller predators. And uh, not the predators, but uh, some smaller um, consumers. Jackrabbits and uh, maybe prairie dogs. I hope those are fixed now. We might as well also uh, unlock the deer mouse, although this one is tough to handle. I can tell you that much. Uh, those are really, really, really hard to handle. They, they can overrun your biome in no time. Okay. Anyway, that's uh, something for the next week, which I might record earlier. I might actually record this video or the, the next video on Friday, which is in two days. So um, I can just upload it in time and just release it maybe earlier. I don't know. I really don't know. It depends on what I probably feel would be best. Okay, so more coins for us. No more achievements, though. Can we still... S yeah, we, we can still... If you look from here, you can still see the uh, 12 I wrote into the uh, sand. It's also a very green desert already. So I think it is time to unleash something... Uh, to eat all the uh, join furs. So let's put in some jackrabbits right in the middle of those plants. Maybe so that they can uh, munch on those two things. Let's also put some armadillos in. Give them as many insects as possible. Uh, probably put in another ant colony just to be safe. And anything else I want here. And let's let's actually put a desert tortoise in. Okay, it needs pollination in three weeks. There's also a small tree over a small Joshua tree over here. I'm not sure we'll ever see that through to maturity because that is a long time. I'm just too lazy to do it, but uh, I suppose I divide that by fifty. It's uh, yeah, it's quite a long time. I know 52 weeks, but I'm, I'm too lazy for that now. Can you get marine blue butterflies? Let's do that. I want some of those. Maybe over here. And some over there. And because there is a Joshua tree, I will put in some moths. Right next to that. Uh, this tree has a moth, so it doesn't need another. Okay, let's also uh, get more producer, more consumers in here. Um, we're going to keep adding herbivores for now. And we'll put some desert tortoises over uh, here. On that little hill. They're a very, very small area of uh, effect, so they, they won't eat too much. Also, I think the saguaro is basically immortal. Like there are just other plants, like the the um, Joshua tree, which have no edible parts unless they are fruiting, and they won't die. They they will never be eaten. Those are also uh, those are not tough. The, the little cacti, what do I have them here? Those barrel cacti can only they are tough. They can only be eaten by certain species. The uh, desert tortoise is none of those, but the uh, jackrabbit is one of those species that can eat tough things. It has the tough uh, eating tag somewhere. Let's zoom in on those rabbits. Ah, I'm terrible at uh, using the camera here. That's a sleeping rabbit. Uh, there it is. You see, the, uh, this one can eat tough life forms. There aren't that many tough life forms, but some of them are, and uh, they're pretty tough, really. Uh, <laughs> Also, do we have some, some more plants I want to unlock? I think we need more cacti. I also think that it's time to add some... Could you just... Uh, why can't I... Oh. Alright, oh, because I can't scroll when I have the uh, menu open. I can't turn, rather. Do I have beaver tail cacti here? I don't seem to. I kind of want some, though, so uh, let's put them in here. Beaver tail cactus. This is another tough uh, species that can be eaten by the jackrabbit. However, it's also an, an amazing fruit producer, so I'm hoping that some of them will make it. 
and allow the uh, biome to thrive for a few more weeks, if not even years. Also, fruit can be eaten by anything, so even the, the uh, fruit of a tough life form can be eaten by whatever is around and has a craving for fruit. Which I believe is great. Also, we have all the plants here, so we really have to expand and add more species. Let's put in uh, some more herbivores over here. I mean, those are almost fruiting. This guy is uh, almost fruiting. This guy is already pollinated, so... Uh, yeah, I think this is another biome where you have uh, a certain time of the year when everything is fruiting kind of in uh, with a slight delay so you have a time at which there were basically always fruits available for, uh, to your species and I believe this is the best time to add more herbivores because that means they will eat fruit for a while which is generally considered a good thing because that means they won't eat anything else they won't uh, chomp down on your precious precious plants Okay, let's see, I want something herbivoric. Uh, maybe nothing large. Let's put in the... Uh, yeah, let's keep with extra small. Let's, let's add kangaroo rats, because those are less annoying than mice. Okay, we'll put them in here where they can uh, have all the fruit they want. And I think that's all for this biome. I mean, I could add some desert, uh, some, some deer mice. I'm not sure where, though. As I said, those are really good at eating everything. So we'll unlock them, and I think I'll just put some of them right here. I'm going to regret that. But next episode, we are probably going to... Uh, we're actually setting this down to three months now. Apply that. And in three months, we will hopefully have reproduction here and here. So that would be a good time to add some carnivores. They will probably eliminate the armadillo population, because they're just good at that. Although, how, how small is the armadillo? You can control the uh, mouse population with, uh, for example, oh, it's, it's, it's small, okay. Uh, we could... Uh, control the mice with um, coral snakes and uh, king snakes or rattlesnakes even because those basically um, those can only eat things that are smaller than them although snakes do have the tendency to eat things that are bigger than them uh, which pr you probably know from oh now I can turn that as well uh, from some uh, YouTube videos and pictures where they have eaten ridiculously large things uh, anyway here you can use those to control the mice population because snakes will only eat small things here most reptiles will so those would only target the uh, mice which have huge eyes here okay and of course those kangaroo rats you might also uh, as well if you uh, so desire use bigger species for example for that although uh, one of the advantages there would be that the um, uh, snakes would only eat the uh, baby rabbits, which indeed sounds like a good plan. So we could add um, snakes here to control the uh, baby rabbit population, and of course the mouse population, and we would be pretty good. So I'll have to keep that in mind for next video. I also have no countdown, which really bothers me right now. I'm too late to set my... Uh, clock to that because I have no idea how to set a damn thing. I'm happy it, it alert, uh, alerts me and, and wakes me up when I want it to, actually when I, when I set it to. I wouldn't say I want it to wake me up then. <coughs> but yeah, that's that's all I could do. Then again, it was like 3 in the morning when I set it, so <laughs> yeah, that's a... Uh, damn it, I didn't want to, to open that biome again. Uh... Come on! It's not like you have much to save here. Uh, okay. 
Let's open the Himalayan biome, which has pa um, it has passed through another year. <coughs> and I really want to, to keep adding um, herbivores here very, very late. Because they have so many uh, plants and it's such a huge biome. And they have so many huge, and I mean really huge, they have elephants in there uh, as uh, consumers. So you really need a lot of plant life going. Then again, we already have a lot of plant life going. So I think we might soon add more, um, or add some actual uh, consumers. A little bamboo forest here, which is now spreading, as you can see. I'm not sure if bamboo acts like all the other grass. Thank you. And uh, only grows when it um, this has reached a certain size. I mean, that those will grow is clear, but I'm not sure if that... Uh, let's actually try out. Where do I have the bamboo? There it is. So, how much uh, stuff does that have? 160. Oh, so that's young bamboo. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. It will it will grow. Uh, okay, and it it will just instantly spread. I think. Yeah, it's not it's not grass. I think it's uh, this change really affected grass, which uh, does not uh, which pollinates basically all year round, or which reproduces all year round in this game. Also, it seems like the Himalayan balsam is doing really good. I mean, it, it's spreading quite far. I believe we only had a few of them here, and now it's all the way over there. Uh, how did the goji berries do? They're also pretty damn well spreading. We could add some fruits in here. Add some, well, let's, let's actually add some things in here. Let's put in the pika over there. So it can eat everything here. It can have those... Uh, Honeysuckles and uh, whatever those oh uh, more honeysuckles, which will mature in five weeks. Uh, a bit too late to uh, actually bear fruits, which I suppose is planned. But yeah, they will have goji berries as well, and they will help spread all that stuff. So it's kind of useful to add them now during that fruiting period. I might also want to add some more. Although no, there's enough grass over there, I believe. Is there? Uh, I don't have any grass here. Let's, let's add some grass, just to be on the safe side. Uh, maybe some, some blue poppies and... Uh, some... fairy grass. That sounds the... Uh, grassy. Okay, good. Now, we have that. I also have plenty of uh, pomegranates here. Which seem to grow to quite a magnificent forest. I said I wanted to have a forest here, right? I think I did. So let's expand the map there. Just... thank you. Uh, okay. Well, again, I don't really need a countdown for this uh, game, because uh, if memory serves, I never did an episode in... kind of on time here. I always made longer episodes. Because... screw you, time. Okay, let's have some stag beetles over there. Some earthworms. Let's have a, a proper forest here with everything growing in it. Some mushrooms. And some more ants over on this side. And uh, let's actually refill energy here. I'm gonna pay for that once. I mean, I'm, I'm not paying anything. It's it's not microtransactions. It's just uh, putting down some Tuto coins. Which I, I think it's worth reiterating that this is not a game that features micro microtransactions. I can't speak today. And again, what can I ever do? Those coins are not the premium currency. Or freemium, if you uh, prefer that term. I have a coined it. I wonder if the, the word freemium is actually uh, kind of copyrighted. Let's add some more things here. This biome is actually so large that I believe it's it's kind of worth um, dropping some coins to to get it uh, to grow faster. Also, some of my big critiques here: you don't have bees. Ooh, can I have more butterflies? Let's have those. 
some of them here, and uh, some of them over there. And maybe even some over there. Maybe not that close. Over here. I mean, I know there are Himalayan bees, but apparently they, they, the developers said, okay, it, it's too cold here, we don't have bees. Which kind of is weird, but I respect them for that. I mean, I like the devs, they're, they're doing great on the, the Steam forums. Also, I believe it's time to unlock those uh, greater trees here. The Banji Oak. Which will place a bit here, and uh, another over there. And maybe one in that, uh, is that a space? No, it's not. Trees need to have a, a bit of free space around them to uh, properly grow. And while we're at it, let's get this going as well. It should give us an award very, uh, an award very soon. Come on. Did I miss a plant? There we go. Uh, we'll grab those rewards because I want to place some cedars. Now, cedars are kind of useless if you look at those. They don't have fruits, they don't have leaves. I'm not sure why you plant them at all. This is not pollinated. It will be pollinated soon enough. Let's buy like a small amount of energy. Because I would like two cedars. And I'm not going to place any more because I believe only the, the young trees of those... Actually, can they be eaten at all? I don't know. So yeah, whatever is the purpose of those in the biome, let's check the biodex here. Uh -huh. Okay, um, it's kind of useless. <laughs> okay, that tree is absolutely bloody useless. At least for us in this... Uh, in this uh, context. So we'll just leave it there. I'm going to put some more uh, vegetation over there. Do I have wood apples here? Are you a wood apple? No, you're a birch. I think I have to add some wood apples. At least one of them. Oh, that's a wood apple. Do I have those anywhere? Let's consult the map. Map, map, map. Helps to have a map. Uh, there we go. Wood apple. Oh, we have some of them over there. Okay, that, that works too. That definitely works too. Uh, over here? No. Those are not wood apples. Where am I? Oh, you are a wood apple. No, you're not. You? No. You? No. Um, okay, I have no idea where I put them. The game's. Oh, over there. Those are wood apples. Okay, and they're almost fruiting. I believe it's kind of set up so that everything is fruiting at a certain time. Of course it is, uh, but uh, kind of concerted so you always have a, a fruiting time, which probably is the summer and uh, kind of a winter time, where nothing is fruiting and uh, things have to eat what they get. I also don't think that uh, animals hibernate properly in this game yet. Maybe they do at some point. So they there won't be the, uh, there won't be that time of the year when everything is just sleeping. And there are some more poppies over here, and uh, a fairy grass over on the other side, just as a kind of preparation for later. Okay, so that's the biome so far. It is, I think, it is nicely populated. We now have some peakers now. And I could, if I was so inclined, add more species, but I don't know if I should. Although then again, let's let's unlock the marmot and put some marmots in there. Uh, that'll do. And we'll put them right over here. No. Not there. We we'll put them in here, I guess. Yeah, so they have the, the fringes of the bamboo forest, although they won't eat that stuff. 
the bamboo forest is doing reasonably well as well so let's let's give in let's go with some red pandas as well so those can eat bamboo they can eat anything else as well though i believe uh, no species are kind of limited to only a certain thing let's actually zoom in here quickly let's look at them go Yeah, the red panda is, uh, I believe, only eating. Uh, um, I think they eat anything really. So they will eat bamboo, but they they will also eat whatever comes across, like those fruits which they should certainly have in their radius. Also, let's check the marmots here. Okay, there. Okay, this produce pretty slow. And I believe the pika is also not the fastest when it comes to reproduction, which is kind of nice. And uh, something I would probably like to see added is uh, maybe two bars over here, like... Um, okay, you, you can guess how much meat a, a species has by its size, but... Uh, Maybe like the reproduction cycle somehow, so you can see, okay, those will reproduce fast and they will have lots of um, lots of offspring. I believe pika are kind of exceptions. They, they look like mice, but they actually don't seem to be that um, that fertile. I mean, they, they look kind of big. Look at that, it's, it's pretty huge. Check the biodex here. Yeah, they, they only uh, repopulate twice a year with about three babies each time. So that's kind of... Uh, they, they, they will get a bit more production in the biodome here. But that's kind of slow. Uh, many of the more uh, fertile species, like the marmot, for example, actually those are also not that reproductive. But yeah, my, my comparison, the, the frog and the deer mice, those are insane. Like, they will reproduce like crazy. Like rabbits basically or rabbits they reproduce like rabbits as well um, and it's, it's kind of hard to, to get those around and to, to keep them around and to keep things balanced once you add those so it's really difficult and uh, I believe since we don't have those uh, huge reproductive species right now uh, I believe I can just leave that to a year and uh, add some maybe some red foxes here next year so those should help keep the uh, pika population down they will have probably had two uh, population cycles by then I mean if they do it twice a year yeah should be fine so uh, I hope you're still enjoying the series I, I definitely enjoy uh, re recording this and there was something I wanted to check. Actually, no, we'll ha we don't have to switch around for that. I just have to find... Uh, can I check? Yeah, Biodex. I want the animals. And I'm looking for the... Oh, no, I have to leave this biome for that. Actually, do I have to? Um, there was something I wanted to see. But, yeah, I'll have to. I'll have to move around. I have to go out of this to the main menu. <coughs> um, the developers said in one well, of the way earlier patches that one biodex entry had been altered, and I wanted to see that. I just remembered I wanted to check that because it was one of the things that I actually complained about being wrong. Uh huh. <laughs> Where the hell is it? Yeah, I think this was uh, the... Yeah, I think one of those uh, notes here, I think it was this one, uh, used to say that there are bees that do the same thing their entire lifetime, and that was something I actually complained about because it, it's wrong. Uh, bees actually cycle through that. So, so a bee starts out as a 
well, of course that doesn't work a bee, but it um, it starts out cleaning its own cell, then it cleans other cells of uh, the brood and uh, stuff, and then it cycles through. Like uh, after a few days, they they become guard bees because then their stingers have developed, and uh, yeah, they, they they in in between they they build hive, uh, they they build comb, they. Uh, Carry out. I think that one of the early tasks is carry out dead bees and then cl just clean the, uh, keep the hive clean. Um, yeah, store stuff so they they take the the honey and and pollen from the other workers that or from the foraging workers and they they, they store it into the comb and uh, that's one of the other tasks as well. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna cut this video here because I'm rambling too long, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.